Hey guys, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to play with artillery. Um, we're not going to talk about uh, mortars today. That'll be a separate video entirely because the tactics used with mortars are quite a bit different than with artillery. But for the most part, we're just going to work with the artillery. We're just going to use the Paladins, a pretty uh, well known uh, artillery unit in the war game community. Um, and we're just going to go over the basics of how to use it. To start, I'm going to teach you about key bindings and the importance of them. When you're playing the game, your front line's somewhere over here. You're looking over here. You're fighting. An enemy is attacking you, or you're making an attack. You don't want to be looking around, coming back here, sucking your artillery, clicking the fire in position button, and fire. Right? It's taking your attention away from the front line and what's going on. Things you can't afford to do. I mean, it costs you a tank, some infantry, etc. So what you do to alleviate that is key bindings. Well, this is how you do it. If you want to set this to a unit, so you can quickly select it without ever having to even look at it. So if you're over here, you don't have to you don't have to select this unit coming by coming back here. Here's what you do. Select the unit that you want. Type or not type, but hold down left control and the key of one, the one key. Now you can do it with two, three, four, five, etc. You can bind as many groups as you want as you got numbers for. And this, what this allows me to do is, while I'm over here, I can select the tank. So I'm going to off-select it by select this random CB to show you what I mean. So I'm over here, looking at a battle that's going on. I need some artillery, but going over here, all the way down here is a waste of time. So I press my keybind for group 1. There he is. There's my artillery. Just like that. So... This prevents you from having to do that. Now, what about firing on position? <coughs> because time is absolutely crucial in this game. Sometimes going all the way down here to click fire in position and then drag it back out, it takes too long. Well, you can, in the settings, actually change what key that is used for the fire on position. In my case, it's R. So every time I press the R key, so while I'm over here, I press R, there it is, fire in position. And I left click, and he fires. So, there he is, you can see him firing, blah blah blah, that's that. The next thing is, you do the same thing for firing smoke. For me, it's Q. So I press Q, he fires his smoke. <coughs> Apologize for the cough. But yeah, that's how it works for artillery. Now, after you fired your artillery, it isn't always a bad idea to move it. There are two different ways to move artillery, by just right-clicking, which they move relatively slowly by you doing that. The other way is by moving fast. The move fast action allows the units to go to the, basically the nearest road to move as fast as possible. If you just right click, they don't utilize the road and they don't move fast at all. But if you go here, for me, I have a key bound to E. So every time I press E, I now get this weird cursor that means move fast. So if I were just to click move fast, it'd do the same thing. But instead I just press E because coming down here takes too long. So pressing E, you now utilize the road. You always want to move your artillery after firing it. <coughs> the reason why is because if the enemy um, counter arties you, they're gonna hit your paladin. You're, they're gonna hit your Caesar. You know they're gonna they're gonna hit your uh, anything that you got back there, right? So you always want to keep moving it after firing. And one of the cool things about the way this game works is, is you can put, um, you can queue up orders. So order one, fire in position, right? So we come over here, I'll deselect it. Watching a fight here, we need some artillery. You know, press one, press R, fire in position, do that. Watching the battle, okay, I need to move this artillery unit after he's done firing, but I can't stand here forever and watch him and wait for him to do that. So here's what I do. I press E again to move fast, and I hold Shift, and then left click. This queues up a second order, and you can do many of these. So if you really wanted to, you can, you can do the move order, put him here, and then move him here again. You can you can do that as many times as you want. <coughs> this is great for helicopters, great for artillery, 
And it's the, one of the best ways to keep your artillery from getting killed, so you don't have to watch it the whole time like I just did. I'm watching it just for display purposes, so if I just you know, click it, fire on position, and quickly do that, and then move back, watch the fight. See, simple as that. And that's pretty much it for artillery. Um, one other thing is, or two other things is, kind of the same thing. Don't ever fire near your fob, like right next to it, because if enemies launch a massive rocket barrage on it, it'll damage your fob. So you want to keep it relatively a distance away, so it wouldn't hit the fob. What I was doing over here, firing here, was a bad mistake. Um, but from right around here, or back here, is a great way to keep it close to the fob, <coughs> so that way you can resupply, and so that way you don't aren't too close so that enemies accidentally hit your fob. The other one is don't fire near your CV. You don't be an idiot. Um, oh, one other thing. See this giant forest here? Even if the CV was in here, or actually better yet, if my, if my artillery was in here, I fire from it and I tell it to move. The enemy wants to counter already me here. There's a problem with that. Moving through dense forests, or even just through hedges like this, um, it slows your unit down, so you have to be mindful of that. Um, mortars are a bit different, you can kind of keep them in forests, but as for heavy artillery such as the Paladin, uh, you do not want to put them in forests. It's a dumb idea, it slows them down, and it can, if, especially if they get detracked, and here comes an incoming barrage of anti-tank um, uh, armor-piercing artillery, <laughs> well, it can combine your Paladin. And the enemy's happy with a 120 point kill, that is your only artillery piece. So, hopefully, that helps you a bit with artillery, how to understand how it works, and hopefully, I've emphasized enough importance as to why you need to move it.